MTGA Assistant is the deck tracker from etherhub.com. Um, it has a lot of cool features, and today I'm going to look at the uh, deck tracker. Uh, before we show off the deck tracker, I just want to show uh, a useful feature called the deck statistics. So when you play a game with uh, the assistant, it will track the results and store them locally. So this is available by clicking on view details on your deck. And you can see all the matches you've played with the deck in each mode, in events, in play mode or in ranked matches. And it will give you the win rate. Wow, that was pretty bad, 41%. <laughs> And you can also delete these stats if you want to. If you want to blank them out, you can go to settings. And under cache data, you can clear. This will not clear for each individual deck. It will clear for all ranked matches or all play matches or all event matches. Pretty useful when there's a new season or something like that, uh, where you want to track your deck uh, from the beginning. Or if you've done any changes to your deck and you want to track it after the change. You can clear them here. But let's get into a game and I can show you how the uh, deck tracker works. So I'm just going to do a little bot match. So we're in a game with Sparky. And the deck tracker will pop up right after both of you have kept your hands. So you don't want the deck tracker to cover your uh, mulligan decisions and be in the way. It pops up after the game has started. And it will track how many cards are in your library and the chances to draw them. So looking at this, I have, uh, I have two Flourishing Foxes left in my library. There's a 3% chance that the next card I draw will be a Fox. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm going to cycle this and draw a card. And you can see the stats change right now. I did draw a Go for Blood. And uh, here there's a summary of what chance it is to draw a land and what chance it is to draw a non-land and together with the chance of drawing each of the colors. The deck tracker is transparent and not in the way, uh, but you can do some adjustments to it. Uh, there's actually something called slim mode, where you can make it even more compact. And this is as compact, I guess. Usually you would, li you would want to maybe take away this so you get more space, maybe even take away the mana symbols so they're not in the way. And these changes will apply in your next match. So uh, uh, so this is the view I have right now. I'm going to go ahead and concede this match and start the next one. And you can see how it looks then. So I'm in the next match and I go first. There's no deck tracker yet because I haven't made a decision. So as soon as I keep this, the deck tracker will pop up again. As you can see now, it's a lot smaller. It's not in a way at all for the lands of the opponent if you want to hover them. Sometimes the lands go all the way out here and uh, the extensions cover them a little bit. We basically wanted a mode for the minimalist that just wanted a quick overview of the cards and didn't want the extension to get in the way of the gameplay. So we created this mode. The deck character still updates normally. Uh, we also have other options where you can take away the bold text, make it a bit smaller can barely tell the difference, but the difference is there. Uh, also, if you have trouble reading the text, you can make it white, so it's clear white, and it really helps with visibility. So that's going to conclude this video, a little look at the uh, deck tracker in MTG Assistant. There are a lot of other features too to cover. I'm going to do those in separate videos, so look out for those. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.